I saw this painting, the Goya Museum in Zaragoza, Spain, right? And it was this small little painting. It looked like a study, but it was, it was well refined. Uh, and it had a, a glowing triangle right at the center. And it was sort of to represent God. Um, and then there were maybe some like Renaissance figures on either side of it, sort of perched on cliffs or something, looking at it or being influenced by it or something. And then I later saw um, that it was probably a study. I think I recall that there was a huge painting, a mural in the big cathedral in Zaragoza that had um, that painting uh, fully um, um, manifested. Um, so anyways, what I want to do is I just want to just do a little uh, watercolor experiment, kind of a study, I guess, um, just to see if I can make it make something um, with a gold uh, leaf, like a, tr a gold leaf triangle in the middle and then do just do some watercolor clouds or something surrounding it. And I'm going to use one of my prisms from Prismania um, as the triangle. Um, I'm gonna trace the triangle right now. From 2006 to 2013, I had a company called Prismania and I manufactured uh, optical crystal prisms, really high quality prisms that were sold in science museum stores throughout the United States and the UK and in a couple of European countries, Denmark and, uh, and Holland. And um, the, the, I sold actually upwards of 20,000 prisms. Uh, of primarily of two different sizes and um, it was really just a beautiful experience and so what I'm using right there I what I used to make that triangle right there uh, was one of the uh, prototype prisms that Keith Williamson has and I'm putting some gold size in it and then I'm gonna let it dry I'm just making sure that it's as accurate as possible within the lines of the triangle Now I'm going to lay in some gold leaf, imitation gold leaf, into the triangle, patting it down. And it came out quite good actually. I still have to lay in a little bit more just because there's a little gap on the left top side if you can see that. Now I'm going to just try to make a simple sort of halo or gold burst around or yellow burst around the triangle. Uh, I'm not going to do any figures or anything. I just want to try to get a general impression of that's similar to that painting, that, that Goya painting. I'm pretty sure it is Goya actually. I'm not sure, but I think it is. doing some orange trying to get a sort of gold effect <laughs> skipping forward a bit I put some brown in and this is where I kind of started to have to experiment because I wanted it darker I, I wasn't sure whether I wanted it darker or not here put in some darker gray Trying to get a little bit of value differentiation going on. I blended the gray in, but it wasn't dark enough, so now I'm going to try some blue. That's probably closer to what I'm looking for. I'm really interested in sort of the iconicity of simplified geometric forms in as much as they are able to represent the infinite. 
and I really would love to be able, I, I started out actually, um, well, really what, some of the first paintings that I did, uh, actually, no, the very first paintings that I did in Florence, and then again, some of the first paintings I did in Manchester. So in Florence in 1996, I did some experiment, experimental paintings, and they were, all of the paintings that I did, they were all spheres. They were all just uh, rather circles, round circles centered in the canvas, in the middle of the canvas, large sort of sun shapes or moon shapes, planets or stars in the middle of canvases. And that's just like, seems to me to be like the ultimate archetype sort of, of God, you know, the, the focus of my mind, the focus of life, just like focus itself, you know, and this is actually interesting that I'm doing a triangle here. I mean, obviously it's derivative of that painting that I, that I showed you, that Goya painting, but it's a real uh, sort of diversion, I guess is the word for, for me, or detour, um, away from doing circles to do this triangle. And But obviously the triangle has sort of, uh, I wouldn't say more occult significance, but it's more loaded sort of because it's a, um, I guess, I mean, it auto automatically it makes you think of a pyramid, but it's sort of more than that. It's the Trinity. Uh, and it's fascinating that it's used with the tetragrammaton in the, like in that Goya painting. And then also I've seen it used for the same purpose, uh, it, with a tetragrammaton in it, the, the, the yod hey vow hey like Hebrew letters for Yahweh, yod hey vow hey whatever, the tetragrammaton. I've seen that same thing used in that chapel that's right next to the World Trade Center. It's a really old, early American chapel that, like, some of the founding fathers used to, I think, attend or whatever, or be part of the parish or whatever. That was hard to do, but it turned out actually to have the sort of ambiance or feel that I was looking for. So it is a good sort of impression of the painting that I mentioned earlier. Um, it turned out a bit messy, but it still looks good, so I'm happy with it.